Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. In this video, we want to discuss about the simple and compound interest. The term interest, interest period and interest rates are useful in calculating equivalent sums of money for one interest period in the past and one period in the future. However, for more than one interest period, the terms simple interest and compound interest become important. Simple interest is calculated using the principal only. Ignoring any interest accrued in preceding interest periods. The total simple interest over several period is computed as principal times by number of periods times by the interest rate. And the interest rate is expressed in decimal form. Example, if the interest rate is 10%, so the I is 0 0.10. If the interest rate is 5%, so the I expressed as 0 0.05. How about the compound interest? What's the difference between simple and compound interest? In most financial and economic analysis, we use compound interest calculations. For compound interest, the interest accrued for each interest period is calculated on the principal plus the total amount of interest accumulated in all previous periods. Thus, compound interest means interest on top of interest. Yeah. So this is one uh, formula that we can use to calculate the compound interest. And we can see here the formula to calculate the simple interest and the compound interest is different. For compound interest, the interest formula is the principal times by the in one plus interest rates power of n minus the principal value. We look one example how the calculation of the simple interest and compound interest difference. Let's say that uh, we have 1000 ringgit land for three years at simple interest which is 10% per year, calculate the repayment after 3 years. So, we look at the formula that we have discussed just now, uh, the simple interest equivalent with the principal times by the number of periods times by the interest rates. So, this is the principal value, the 100,000, yeah, 100,000, and the number of period is 3 years, and and the interest rate is 10% per year, which is the I that we express as decimal point, 0 0.1. So the simple interest value is 30,000 ringgit. So the total due after three years, if calculation based on simple interest, the amount is 130,000 ringgit. How about the compound interest? Yeah. Now we look at how the compound interest calculations. So again, this is the formula for compound interest calculation. Right. So similar example, the principal is still 100,000 land for three years but now the interest rate is 10 percent per year compounded yeah, so compounded interest uh, used in these calculations to calculate the repayment after three years so we can look at the definition that we have discussed just now because for the compound interest the interest accrued for each interest period is calculated on the principal plus the total amount of interest accumulated in all previous periods. Okay. Thus, the compound interest means interest on top of interest. 
So we look at the, the interest rate for year number year one. Yeah. So this is the principal value, 100,000, yeah, times by the 10% or 0 0.1. So the interest for first year is 10,000. Yeah. So at the end of year one, yeah, the, the, the amount of money is 110,000. Next, we can see that in year two, the principal now is 110,000 yeah, because it already top or plus with the interest value at the first year. So the 10% from the 110,000 is 11,000. Yeah, so 11,000 plus with the 110,000. So the total due at year 2 is 131 ringgit. And it happened at year 3, the principal now is 121,000 times by the 0 0.1. And then the interest now is 12,100. So if you compare with the simple interest calculation just now, uh, year 1, year 2, and year 3, the interest is 10,000. 10,000 at year 1. 10,000 at year 2 and 10,000 at year 3 for simple interest calculation. But uh, in compound interest calculations, the first year is 10,000, but in the second year, the interest now is 11,000. Followed by the interest at year 3 is 12,100. So the total amount at year 3 now is 130,100. Okay. Or we can use the formula uh, to calculate the compound interest. Yeah. So we will get the uh, same amount, yeah, which is the compound interest for this example is 33,100. Okay. So that's the differences between the simple and compound interest calculations. So from our discussions, yeah, uh, the comparison between simple interest versus compound interest, in terms of meaning, the simple interest is the interest which is a percentage of the total principal amount. And the meaning of compound interest, it is the interest which is a percentage of both principal and accrued interest. That's what we have discussed just now. Uh, the, the compound interest means interest on top of interest. So that the, the, the difference between the simple interest and the compound interest. In terms of principle, for simple interest, the principle is constant for simple interest. That we can see uh, in the example that we have discussed uh, just now. But in the compound interest calculations, the principle for compound interest keeps on changing due to the addition of accrued interest in the entire period. Yeah. So, we have a look at the previous example. So, the first year, the principal is 100,000. But in year 2, the principal now is 110,000. And year 3, the, the principal is 121,000. So, the difference between, again, uh, simple and compound interest, the principle in simple interest constant, but in compound interest, the principle change. In terms of gross, the principle and, in, and interest gross is constant, but uh, principle and interest gross is rapid and increase at a fast pace uh, on compound interest. In terms of interest charge, interest is charged on the principal amount only. And this also we can see uh, from the previous example. But in the compound interest, the interest is charged on the principal and the interest amount. Ensure the total interest formula for the simple and compound interest is different than we have applied in the previous calculations. So the calculations uh, for simple interest is easy 
and it is also easy to understand. And for compound interest, uh, if you compare to the simple interest calculation, the compound interest is difficult as it involves different periods of compounding. So this is another example yeah, to see uh, again uh, the differences of simple interest calculations and the compound interest calculations. Yeah. So now the principal is 200,000. Okay. Uh, the number of period is four years and the interest rate is 5% per year. So from the formula, the simple interest is uh, 40,000. Yeah. And if the example calculated as compound interest, yeah, so we can see that uh, the principal for each year until year four is different. Yeah. Because it accumulates. Yeah. The first year is 200,000. But in second year, increase to 110,000. Third year, 220,500. And then the, the fourth year, the year four is 231, 5 to 5. And the total compound interest for four years is 43,000, yeah, 101. Yeah. So this is another example to see how the differences between the simple interest calculation and compound interest calculation. Yeah. So that's all for the uh, simple and compound interest uh, discussion. So see you in the next video. Thank you.